Open the door! Door opening. Please ensure that you are wearing suitable sealed outer clothing. Depressurization procedure commencing. Depressurization procedure complete. Commencing atmospheric repressurization. Atmospheric repressurization complete. Door opening. Thank you for visiting the Venice Beach Lounge. Defense Station Omega-12, 27th of March 2063. Omega Force audio diary entry begins. There's definitely something strange going on. The base commander is making some weird and strategically disastrous decisions, sending repair crews to fix vending machines when pointly the defense system's still down and that sort of thing. Many of the crew who noticed seem to end up dead. They're saying that they're, they were accidents. Someone died a few days ago and apparently he had a nasty fall. And there's a guard recently who saying accidentally slipped and decapitated himself. Maybe I'm just being paranoid, but this just doesn't seem right. End entry. Defense Station Omega-12, 29th of March 2063. Omega Force audio diary entry begins. An engineering crew member came to me yesterday and said he'd noticed a nasty smell coming from one of the maintenance tubes which he wanted me to investigate. I know I'm not supposed to be the basis pest controller, but I had a look anyway, out of curiosity. I found the bodies of several different members of crew. I would have reported it in if it weren't for the fact that I saw some of those crew members just minutes later in the corridors. I've taken photos, but for some reason I can't get them through to Hen Command, so I'm going to gather a few other people and arrest the base commander. End entry. You can't go in there. Can't we? You don't have an appointment. I don't need one. Now move out of the way! I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Sir? Step aside now or I'll fill you with so much plasma that you'll be ash when I've finished. You will not contact anyone or move from this room. If you're gone when I get back, I will hunt you down and not rest until I have you behind bars in Venus Maximum Security Prison. Do I make myself clear? Perfectly. What is this? Commander, please sit down. I will as soon as you tell me what's going on! Commander, ever since that derelict that passed near us two weeks ago, I don't think you've been the same. You remember the one you insisted you investigate personally? Yes, I remember. Well, since then you've been making some decisions that to me seem to be quite frankly idiotic. You send teams to repair vending machines when our laser point defense system is broken. You forget to turn the power off to the fans when teams are repairing the ventilation dots and the sensors are only manned 30% of the time. That's because of the cuts to crew numbers. And then anyone who says even a word which suggests that they're getting suspicious of you ends up dead in a so-called accident. I've read the reports and I fail to see how a massive bloodstained tear in an environmental suit could be caused by a nasty fall. Simple. She slipped and cut herself on a sharp rock. And then there's the matter of these. I think you'd agree that these pictures show something which is impossible. I mean, I've seen some of these people since I took them. I'm afraid I can't explain this. I'll get security onto it right away. No, you won't. On behalf of the Human Empire, I am placing you under arrest for espionage, sabotage, and impersonating a senior hen officer. You didn't think it would be that easy, did you? What do you do that for? Most people would say thanks. He was our greatest source of information about the alien race. There will be plenty more. You're right. Thanks. Come out of there with your hands up and let the commander go. You've got to be joking. Don't. Move. A muscle. Stand down immediately! We're not the ones you should be arresting here. I'll give you three seconds then we'll open fire. Three, two, one, open fire! Better.
I thought I told you not to contact anyone. Arrest him! Split up. You two go that way. You two go that way. You're with me. Be careful everyone. We're in a room full of identical boxes and he could be any one of them. Bongo boss, come in. This is Lieutenant Gillis, Omega Force Security. Do you read? Loud and clear. This is Captain Rangecroft, Omega Force, Defense Station Omega 12. What's happening there? We've got two of the infiltrators in custody and we're searching for the rest. Have you got the security chief? We've tracked him to storage room 6. We're about to begin searching. Roger that, Captain. I'll be right here if you need me. Get us out. Captain, we found him. Captain, this is Private Forney. Uh, we... Uh, we found him too. What? How can you have both found him? This isn't something to be joking about. I'm not joking. Me neither. This isn't something I joke about. Look, we'll sort this out later. I've got an urgent call coming in. Captain Rangecroft here. What's the problem? Captain Lieutenant Gillis here. Are you sure you're in storage room 6? I'm certain. Why? Because I've just checked our records and according to the computer, storage room 6 shouldn't have anything in it. It should be completely empty. Code Red! Code Red! We've got to get out of here now! Lieutenant, I want a heavy weapons team down here as soon as possible. Of course, sir. I'll send them right away. What do you want us to do? Just give them everything you've got. Of course, sir. A frag warhead should do the job. Seal off the storage room, then detach it from the main body of the base and have its onboard thrust to move it to a safe distance. Once that's happened, I want you to fire every weapon we've got at it. Can you do that? Yeah, sure. Good. I'm about ready to start the procedure. Sergeant, can you get those guys out now? Yeah. Guys, you might want to leave now unless you want to get blown into little smithereens. Guys, can you hear? Oh. I guess we're even now? Yeah, we're even. <laughs>